We're looking at memes today. Today is the day that I finally decide to go through the peak world, prequel, peak world, Jesus, the prequel memes subreddit and look at whatever kind of ridiculous and stupid things that people have posted. I've never done a meme review, so let's just take a look and see what we got. Very, very fine amount of sound that's coming through to, to greet you the next time through again. I don't like sound. <laughs> you don't like the meat? Not the fact. It's coarse and rough and irritating. <laughs> it gets everywhere. <laughs> Okay, what are the odds somebody actually quotes something like that? Uh, uh, it, it, this is today. Th this is 2021, even though the camera quality is like 1998, but 200,000 tears with a million more on the way. Well on the way. Revenge of the Sith deleted scene. Obi-Wan visits Padme. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I am not blind, Padme, though I have tried to be for Anakin's sake and for yours. Anakin has loved you since the day you met in that horrible junk shop on Tatooine. He's never even tried to hide it, though we do not speak of it. We pretend that I don't know. And I was happy to because it made him happy. You made him happy when nothing else ever truly could. Wow. Um. I came here for the funnies. <laughs> I came here for the funnies. Oh, Jesus. That's actually depressing. Uh, that makes that makes that movie even more sad. Episode three is an extremely underrated Star Wars movie, in my opinion. Like uh, God, the the emotions of that movie are ridiculous. But wow, Samuel Jackson gets what he wants. Samuel Jackson when he sees a purple lightsaber in the Battle of Geonosis. <laughs> That's me right there, the one black guy in Star Wars that has a purple lightsaber. Being a black guy, and I've heard purple Kool Aid jokes all my life. This 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 pertains to me very well. Yoda, go to relations I with the rookies I have. Grogu, good relations with the cookies I have. That was that was that was bad. <laughs> Execute Order sixty six. The soldiers should shoot their officers and go home. George Bernard Shaw, nineteen fourteen. Clone troopers in nineteen BBY. Don't mind if I do. Imagine if we never had the whole chip thing kind of happen in Star Wars. I wonder how, because that's kind of how the universe is really set up to happen with the clones we weren't initially supposed to have the whole chip thing but i guess it makes more sense that there was a chip involved versus the clones just magically turning evil all of a sudden after years of fighting with a lot of officers they respect and a lot of jedi they respected it i don't know I, I, I always wonder how modern star wars media would really go if we didn't have the whole chip thing involved but i guess it wouldn't make sense i have the power to save the one you love hold up anakin <laughs> you got a girlfriend <laughs> It's safe to assume, just like Obi-Wan, everybody knew Anakin was was in, interested in Padme. I mean, he never hit it. He made it quite obvious in many situations. But I do always wonder what what Mace had to have thought it. This is given an instant when he said this, because it's a big question to ask. Hold on, you got a girlfriend? <laughs> Apes together, strong. Prequel fans arguing whether Attack of the Clones was good or not. Prequel fans agreeing on the fact that Revenge of Sith is the best prequel. That's a fact. That's actually just a straight up fact. No matter what anybody says, Revenge of the Sith is the best prequel Star Wars movie that has ever existed. And in my personal opinion, it's one of the best Star Wars movie we, movies we've ever gotten. And that's just that's just a fact. <laughs> the high ground? It's a coffee shop we can't afford to lose. I'll never get tired of the high ground in Obi-Wan. I see so many references of this literally literally everywhere i, I wouldn't i would never get tired of obi-wan having the high ground he deserves it when you realized you were killed minutes before order 66 was executed and all the jedi's lightsabers would have been lying around the galaxy on claim which would have made a fine addition to your collection cough cough i feel my heart crack f in the chat for all my unnamed clones chat named clones destroys thousands of droids and survives the clone wars virgin unnamed clones this is jesus christ this is so true, though. When you think about all the clone troopers that had died in the Clone Wars that just didn't have plot armor on their side. But that goes for a lot of characters. Jedi, Republic, Rebel, Imperial soldiers. Anybody that didn't have plot armor in the Star Wars universe just got cursed to a life of continuous death and torture. Feels bad, man. Should people tell anything why the prequels are bad? Me, who knows the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise. This is true. If you know this tragedy... 
everybody else's arguments are invalid. Besides, the sequels suck anyway, so you can always use that as a counter argument. <laughs> That's an immediate counter argument. My brother, who's a lawyer, my sister, who's a doctor, me, who knows all seven forms of lightsaber combat. Who needs a real career when you can master every single form of lightsaber combat with a wooden stick? I don't really have a joke for this one. <laughs> I don't have a joke. I'm sorry. True story. The Amazon delivery man just trying to do his job. Me chasing him down and telling the story of Darth Plagueis the fights. Dude, when I played through this game, can I just mention that these guys are ruthless. This is the easily the hard, one of the hardest enemy, if not the hardest enemy to fight. Because once they grab you and just slam you on the ground, it, it feels like game over, honestly. <laughs> My cavities have doubled since the last time we met, Count. Twice the cavities double the bill. I forgot he played a role in, uh, what was this? Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I forgot about the fact that, um, I always forget what his IRL name is, but it's pretty badass if I recall, but I, I, I forgot that Dooku had a role in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. That was like, was it like, didn't that movie come out like 2005? Movies, movies do not hit the same anymore, man. Jeez, this movie was, this movie was so good. Way better than Death Sticks, Addicts Before and After, Cocaine, Alcohol, Crack, Sea Otters. <laughs> Who even get? Who even gets a picture of, of of a person like this? Like, where do you find this picture? I mean, is this true for all of us? How good I think I am at strategy games. How good I probably am. There are so many Empire War YouTubers that will not admit they are Captain Ozzo. They, they think they're Thrawn, but I'm I'm not throwing shots. I'm not calling out anybody. I promise. But man. Some of the shit I've seen people do in Empire War really makes me question whether or not is the game just harder than I really think it is, or am I just tryharding every single instant? I don't know, but I've seen people do some really ridiculous, um, questionable stuff in Empire War, which is why I've actually consistently tried to binge myself as a person, or, or tried to force myself to be a person who's good at the game. Or try to at least learn and adapt to different mods and stuff. Because some of the things I see people do, man. Jesus Christ. I'm just... I'm amazed that they, um... They, they win their galactic scenarios. But by, by all means, more power to everybody else, you know? I'm not going to judge anybody. Oopsie! Qui-Gon Jinn in episode 1. Anakin is the chosen one. He must be trained as a Jedi. I'm sure of it. Qui-Gon... Qui-Gon's force goes watching Anakin kill all the Jedi later. <laughs> Honestly... It makes me always wonder how did how would how did Qui-Gon react to all of this? But I feel like he would also partially blame the Jedi knowing Qui-Gon because he didn't necessarily agree with all the Jedi ways either. So I feel like I feel like he wouldn't entirely lose faith in Anakin. But it's definitely gotta be a shocker watching from the afterlife the person that you believed in just slaughtering everybody you once know you, you once knew it loved. Ah. That's gotta be weird. If there's an afterlife in the force, why even exist in the in the in this in this galaxy? I, I don't know. I guess it's one of those live while you can and just do what you can to help since, since living is a thing. It just do what you can while you're alive to be a good person and then when you die you have a happy life still. I, I don't know. I don't know. Where girls cried, where boys cried, where men cried, and where legends cried. You know what? Real legends cried when the expanded universe became legends that's where that's where real man cried everybody cried hmm get a job homeless man tells a girl streamer to get a job <laughs> ironic actually i've seen the context of this video i, I take the cover back i see the context of this video it was more on the jokey terms i don't think he was actually serious though i i've seen that video together we can discover the secret when the kid you are watching over is playing lego star wars and keeps missing the mini kits of purple studs <laughs> Use my knowledge, I beg you. <laughs> I've never actually perfected a full LEGO Star Wars game just because they are so long and so tedious, but I bet you, looking back on my time as a kid playing LEGO Star Wars, there's probably so much that I easily missed back in the day and didn't even realize how easy it was to probably get it. Maybe we'll maybe we'll play LEGO Star Wars one day on, on, um, on Twitch. We'll see, we'll see. It sounds like it'd be a fun idea. So, we will watch your career with great interest. Stay away from politicians, Anakin. Yes, master. <laughs> and that's it. That's the whole Star Wars trilogy. The, 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 the trilogies, the, the original trilogy never happens. The prequels never happen. Everything turns out fantastic. And that's just how it's going to end, right? I enjoy doing this, honestly. This is going to be a lot more fun to do once I get a little bit more comfortable with it. This is the first time I've really ever done like a whole 
meme review let's just talk about some funny pictures on the internet kind of thing uh but i mean i enjoyed it if there's ways i can improve let me know but i want to keep doing stuff like this to kind of change it up to be more of a well-rounded youtuber you could say because i mean don't get me wrong make it let's plays of empire war is exciting and fun but doing two let's plays of two separate mods at the same time is very mentally draining and it, it makes me hate the game more and more when i play it sometimes so i'm not gonna be doing that anymore i'm gonna be trying to be more of a well-rounded guy that just posts more videos of empire war but i'm not gonna do two let's plays at the same time type things anymore no absolutely not but i enjoy making stuff like this so if you want more of it let me know in the comments below and um yeah i'll see you all later may the force be with you all peace